Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share a little Mac haul with you guys, some things that I picked up that I'm excited about. I just wanted to share with you. My daughter is sick. She's got bronchitis. She had a fever all night long. She's had a fever for a couple of days actually. And it was a rough night, a very, very rough night. Um, I slept upright with her and didn't get much sleep at all. And so now she's very clingy, doesn't want to be put down. So she's gonna sit in my lap the whole time. Um, so yes, I picked up some Mac stuff and I thought I would share with you. The first step I'm just going to reach in is the blush Stubborn, which that's why I need to do a haul because I'm already wearing these things. Stubborn is what I'm wearing right now. I love these kind of rosy, this is like a rosy mauve shade, um, but a really pretty blue based blush. And that is actually my favorite kind of blush. I like anything that's very cool in tone. Um, and I have, these are the old MAC palettes, but I really, I find no sense in throwing these out and um, ordering the new ones because they're perfectly good shape. So I still have them and I've got um, So Pretty So Easy or William So Easy right there. That's a cream blush. I don't use it as much as I should um, because it's cream and I find it very difficult to wear with my very oily skin. So. There's that one, but the other wells have yet to be filled up. I do have one of the new MAC blush palettes, the double-sided ones, full of blush. Um, but like I said, I just don't feel like I need to purchase any more because I've already got these. Um, and these, actually, I when I purchased the, uh, the new ones, I moved everything into there and just kept these as backup. So they're stubborn, and I'll pull it out of the container so you can see it. Really pretty bluish mauve shade, like I said. Very, very pretty color. There it goes. And so that's going to go into the well. And then, let's see. This is an eyeshadow. We'll do eyeshadows next. Oh, yeah, baby. Don't touch that, okay? You'll spill it. You want to hold this? Hold this lip gloss. Hold this lip gloss, okay? She's in bad shape. She's just not happy. She's doing breathing treatments, and um, we've got an antibiotic. It's crazy. This is the color taupe. It's blush, and it's in the shade taupe, which I thought would be really great for a light highlight, like a light contour color, and I do have it on underneath here, just as a very light. You can see it more at this angle, um, and then also around my nose. So it does work very nicely on pale skin for a light contour shade. Don't look at my nails. They're bad. Um, I still need to take the polish off for Christmas. So there's that. And I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas. I did not get to vlog like I wanted to. Our Christmas was so rushed. It's crazy because we've got, I have three sets of um, parents to go see. So I've got my in-laws, my father, and my mother and her husband, um, my stepfather. So it's always very, very rushed, very hectic for us. And then Harper, like I said, she's got bronchitis. She's had it since before Christmas. And it's just been very difficult this year. We don't want to keep her out and around a lot of people. <clears throat> well, she's on a breathing treatment, so it's been rather trying. Okay, the next one, these are all eyeshadows. I'm looking for the sketch, which was the blush, it was the reason why I placed an order. Okay, there's sketch. This is beautiful. Um, Film Noir is the other one that I have that's really, really dark. This one is just as gorgeous, just as everything. I mean, it's just beautiful. So there it is. It is a deep plum color. Um, it's not as brown as Film Noir. Film Noir is a lot more brown in tone than this one. This is just kind of a purple, deepened, darkened plum, um, which looks really pretty. If you wear it the right way, if you apply it lightly, um, use the right hand and even the right brush to apply. So yes, I use my fancy hands when I do this, you know, just fancy, fancy hands. <laughs> so really pretty. Um, so there is this palette. I've got two more wells that I can use, um, but those three colors that I purchased, really pretty, nice colors. So there's that. And then the next one, um, I do have another palette, eyeshadow palette that I have not started using. I've actually got some backups that I need to put in here and just have not done yet. And the first color that I ordered was Deep Damson, which is a very pretty dark purple. I know it seems like I'm ordering a lot of purples, a lot of dark colors, but I have so many neutral browns, um, but nothing really with kind of a purpley undertone. And this has that brownish purple plum undertone. It looks a lot like the color sketch um, for your 
excuse me for your blush. So there's that. Putting that one in the well. Next is Folly, which is kind of in the same color family. Um, just a little lighter. And this one is also a little bit more red. It's more of a red brown color. Really pretty, uh, which I like as an outer crease color. But I like that deep damson as an outer crease as well. It just helps to really create a really pretty deep um, cut crease or just a really pretty outer corner um, to your face or to your eyes. The next one is called Ho, H-A-U-X. It sounds so weird when you pronounce it. Ho, okay, and here is that one. Pretty color as well. It's a good neutral kind of crease color. It's got a little bit of a mauve tone to it. So there's those three. Pretty. And that color combination all together I think is really, really nice. I wore that yesterday and I like I like it on the eyes, all three of those paired together. So Deep Damson, Folly, and Ho. Good morning, Sissy Head. Okay, so there are those. And then some brushes, which are in here. They also sent a sample of their Prep and Prime skin, which is really, really nice for a very clean, very... Um, smooth base like underneath your foundation it creates a really pretty it has a little bit of a sparkle to it as well it just creates a really pretty foundation for your foundation okay so the first brush is the mac 163 which is the contour brush i have used it as a strobing brush just for, i'm not strobing as a um what's that darn word that is like so new and everywhere right now baking baking brush right there to bake my face like I would in an oven whatever anyway so yeah I just think these terms are so ridiculous sometimes baking it's everybody's been doing that for years um, especially underneath your eyes for concealer and if you ever like fallout if fallout has ever been an issue you can pack that powder on under here and bake your under eye while you're cleaning up the fallout it's crazy anyway so whatever I'll get off of the baking strobing thing. Um, but yes, I use that here to create a very sharp line underneath my contour. And that's been working very nicely for that. Also to help contour the sides of your nose, your temples. It just gets these areas really nicely. And when you have brushes that are shaped the right way, I'm not saying you have to have specialty brushes. You could have the very basic four or five general brushes and do makeup nicely. These just help you out. They make it easier. It's like the lazy way of doing things because it's just easier. The shape of the brush is what you're using to create your contour. So that, and then this also is um, a new brush. It's the MAC 109, which works very well in the hollows right here. I use that with taupe to create that line. Um, but it also works well to create like highlights or as an all over color for your lid if you're doing like a wash of a very light pale highlight color it looks really really pretty so that is what I use this this one for just to contour lightly on my lids and I also used it to apply a very light shade to my eye before I started my makeup so two new brushes just two brushes that have been on my list I have a running list of things that I just want um, things that I will need will use not necessarily need but will use and these are two of them so I love them very much so far. And that is it on my face. You want to go with she said she hi. She's here playing. She's always so happy, even when she's sick. This is nice to take you. I've just woke up and she loves her sister. Okay, so on my face, really quickly before I um she's staring. Before I go, um, I have on the Mac Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer. I am the shade NC15 and NW15 in those colors. Uh, on my cheeks, I have the MAC Stubborn Blush, which was that first blush I showed you right here. No, that's so, I think so easy. That one right there. And then I use the taupe to contour. And then I have on the Anastasia Highlight Powder in the shade, ooh, focus. In the shade Starlight, crazy. I'm um, in the shade Starlight as my highlight. And then on my actual eyelids, I used some ColourPop colors. Um, I used the As If Super Shock Shadow in my crease. And then I went over it. Jeez, these are hard to put on. 
I went over it with the Melrose shade, which gives me a little bit of a red brown, just in kind of the outer crease. And then in that very outer crease to darken it up, I used 90210, which is a really pretty brown. And lastly, on my lid in here, it is a sparkly, pretty color. It's called Koosh right there. It's beautiful. I stuck my thumb in this product when I opened it to show you guys how creamy they are for eyeshadows. They go on as a dry shadow, but they're very creamy, very like, it feels like gel-like when you, spongy when you touch the eyeshadow. So that is what I have on my lids, and I'm loving that. And then it's my mascara, the CoverGirl Plumify Blast Pro, which I really do like. It does coat my lashes very nicely. The wand is very difficult for me to work with, though, because I have such small lids. This wand gets all over my skin on my lids. So I do have to do a fair amount of cleanup, but it does a very good job of coating my lashes. I do like this mascara. So really pretty. Um, and then lastly on my lips, it's the MAC Myth lipstick, which I have there. And on top of that, I've got an NYX lip gloss in Eau Claire which my daughter just took off with, so I won't show you. It's a pink shade, um, but I will tell you my lips are swollen. <laughs> my son got me here with his head. I got a headbutt there. My daughter got me here with her head last night, so I got a headbutt there, and then uh, my other daughter, Harper, got me here with her fingernail the night before, so my lips are in like really bad shape. They feel chapped all the time, and I've been putting all kinds of stuff on them um, to help out, but anyway, that is my outfit of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.